Hello friends! In this video you'll see how the actors of the movie Can't Buy Me Love 1987 have changed. You'll know their real names and age. I will show you how they look then and what's with them now in 2023. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Let's go! Barbara is one of Cindy's best friends with whom she also does cheerleading. She can be witty and is not afraid to say what she thinks and ask the questions that interest her. She is mostly used to paying attention to popular guys. Ronald Miller, Patrick Dempsey, lives close to Cindy, for whom has a romantic interest. He is characterized by determination and in some matters he may seek his own advantage. Desperately wanted to become popular, which turned out to be a loss of friends for him. Kenneth Warman, Courtney Gaines, has been on good terms with Ronald since childhood. He is not interested in spinning in a popular society, he is satisfied with his life and what he does. He may well help disinterestedly and doesn't betray his friends. Chucky Miller, Seth Green, is Ronald's younger brother and has coined the nickname Big David for their father. He is more open and not as hardworking as his brother and has no problem asking his parents for money if he needs it. Likes to joke around with Ronald. Mrs. Mancini is closely related to Cindy. She loves her daughter, can be happy about her progress, but is extremely concerned that Cindy is not serious enough and violates her inhibitions. Likes it when men compliment her. She was played by Sharon Farrell. Patty is friendly with Barbara and Cindy. She is observant, doesn't miss a single party and enjoys her popular school life. She thought that Ronald became a real sweetie, knows how to insert the right comment at the right time. The role was played by Darcy D. Moss. David Miller, Dennis Duggan, is the father of Ronald. He is distinguished by good nature, always praises his sons, is sincerely proud of them and it's not a problem for him to give pocket money to children or let them ride in his car, likes to keep things clean. Iris, David DeVasquez, knows Cindy and is somewhat popular at school. She knows how to clearly show her interest and is especially attracted to guys who are in the spotlight. Capable of seduction, but can quickly lose interest if the guy's popularity wanes. Big John, Eric Broscotter, is a school fatalist and is part of Cindy's inner circle, but interacts most with Ricky, likes to eat raw yolks and has a negative attitude to associating with losers. Makes a peculiar facial expression when he wants to release gases. Fran gets along well with Cindy and her friends. She likes to go to parties, is quite easy to communicate with and can show empathy, but is not the type to immediately run to help others. Unlike Cindy, she listens more to her mother's advice, played by Amy Dolans. Ricky was among one of the most popular high school students who also gets along well with Big John. He's a hard-working salsa player and has even been nominated for Best District and State Player. Ricky feels confident at any party. Queen, Court McCown, goes to the same school as Cindy and was friends with Ronald in junior high. He plays football where he makes good progress but he is not very versatile and it's quite difficult for him to keep up a conversation. Can offend the weak. Lester goes to the same school as Ronald, with whom he has maintained a good relationship. He likes to spend time playing poker with his friends and tries not to break that tradition. He likes to crack jokes and make snide remarks. He was played by Max Perlich. Mother Claire denied Cindy the return of the outfit. He stays calm, always treats customers politely and is willing to offer the best options. He can tell the quality of the wine by its smell. Played by Steve Franken, who passed away from cancer in 2012. 
Bobby Hilton is studying at the University of Iowa, where he also plays football and even managed to light up on television. He is Cindy's boyfriend, but he is not very good at maintaining a relationship at a distance. May's show Pride, played by George Gray III. Mr. Warman is the father of Kenneth. He is a law-abiding man who is used to leading a measured life and is good-natured with his children. Every year he ambushes vandals who trash his house in order to take them to the police. The role is played by James Gooden. Bambi Lovegrock, Liza Givens, is one of the Tucson High School students that Ricky has asked to go to school dances. She's attracted to strong guys who exercise not only in class, but also at home. She's quite happy with her appearance and has no complexes. Dancer is a high school student who is also attended by Patty and Ricky. She doesn't belong to the category of nerds and is happy to attend school parties. The somewhat strange performance of dances by others may confuse her. The role is played by Paula Abdul. Fatal Beauty knows her worth and prefers to hang out only with popular guys. She can be somewhat self-serving, greedy for luxury and taunt the losers who don't have their own car. She is used to increase the tension from guys. The role was played by Brandy Brandt. Dancer doesn't miss school events, especially she enjoys dance evenings. She's outgoing, interested in guys and has a good knowledge of modern dance moves. She can feel the rhythm and puts her whole soul into the dance. The role is performed by Anastasia Kuhn. Mrs. Hagmer, Jan Rooney, was on the teaching staff at school where she studied Queens. She is often involved in organizing events and also controls the behavior at the school party. She is somewhat shocked by the two abrupt change in the behavior of the students. Cindy Vancini lives next door to Ronald. Sometimes she can act rashly, especially when she wants to stand out and brag about her boyfriend. She can be brash and emotional, played by Amanda Patterson, who passed away from accidental drug overdose in 2015. Transfer girl Carissa Miller attended John's New Year's Eve party. She had recently transferred to the school where Quint is a student, whom she showed unobtrusive interest in, generally behaves very tactfully, is not spoiled and is not used to showing dislike. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please share it on social networks, like it and of course subscribe to the channel.